Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. We're here in Mojave County, Arizona. We're going to do an initial sampling survey on this uh, mine right over here. It's an added about 134 feet long, got a couple windses, and it's owned by this gentleman over here named Tom. So let's go inside and see what we've got. We started at the portal here and started measuring in in 20 foot increments. For example, here's the first 20 feet. We selected an area. Now this is the basically the fracture zone that this is in, but there's no ore vein there. However, at this spot there is the ore vein. Now as you may notice, <laughs> there's also a big hole there. So they obviously thought there was something interesting here. And there's the vein. And you can see how it varies from where it is. It's rather irregular. Here's our 40 foot sampling site. Here's going to be the fracture zone. Here's the ore. Now these have already been sampled. This is the ore. That's the fracture zone. We have this stope up here. Back in there, can you get that Randy? You can see the staining there looks like a good pocket. And here's the vein here. And there is the working face of the tunnel there. So it's fairly simple. Mark it, hammer it out, get buckets and buckets full of material. Take it back, crush it, split it. Standard procedure. Now these two ends is here coincide with the shaft above us. Now that may be where they first started on this vein and came down. As you can see, the vein itself is pretty irregular. It, it looks like it's kind of confined to a channel, a broken area in the rock, but not very cleanly. So it's one of those things you just got to take it as you got it. actually get down there, huh? Sweet. Going to be tricky. This is going to be a little tricky. That's a pack rat midden there, so it's nothing but cactus. <laughs> That's kind of the standard way they keep snakes away from their babies. Since there's another prospect up the hill, I left uh, my brother Randy and Tom down below taking samples while I hiked up a couple hundred feet vertically and uh, over a thousand feet horizontally to the next little prospect to get some samples there. I'm at the top of the saddle to the next property down at the base of the hill is the adit we were just at. And here's where I'm going. There's an adit at the bottom with a dump and then there's a trench across the hill itself. And I'll get samples there. Hike them back down. And there's the result, 22 buckets of samples, 
and I think plus four bags from the upper workings. Here I am crushing up the samples and laying them out before panning and splitting. Okay, so they've all been crushed. I've split them all down. You can see the bags to be sent off for assay. These are the bags from the upper workings where I just I had much smaller samples because I had to carry them out on my back. Each bucket also has an exemplar or two of the type of rock. And then I'm doing the hand panning right now to determine what shows up in the pan. Currently the results are not that great. As a matter of fact, they're really kind of poor. Surprisingly poor for that size of an operation. So I'm probably going to take these concentrates and have them assayed in a 30 element an analysis done too once I'm done with all this panning because it's not adding up that they move that much rock unless there was something in there. And that's when things went a little bit sideways. When I sent the samples to the lab, they came back radically different than the panning results. I mean, really radically. Um, what looked like trash in the pan uh, actually, in some cases, was, uh, was good ore in the uh, uh, laboratory analysis. Now, it was fairly consistent in terms of if it looked better in the pan, it was better in real life. But <laughs> we're talking factor of, I think the worst one was almost 40 times larger in the laboratory analysis. So that's going to be my next video discussing that in some detail. What I'm going to do now is take you back on the tour through the mine, giving you the actual assay results as I walk through it. And let me know what you think of this format. Should I give the assays one walkthrough, or is it better to just do the overview the first time and then show you again what things look like so that unlike just a tour of a mine, you're actually seeing what is there when we get there. So, so please let me know what you think of that. And uh, also don't forget to click the notification bell because subscribe doesn't mean anything on YouTube anymore. For example, here's the first 20 feet. We selected an area. Now this is the basically the fracture zone that this is in, but there's no ore vein there. However, at this spot there is the ore vein. Now as you may notice, <laughs> there's also a big hole there. So they obviously thought there was something interesting here. And there's the vein. And you can see how it varies from where it is. It's rather irregular. Here's our 40 foot sampling site. Here's going to be the fracture zone. Here's the ore. Now these have already been sampled. This is the ore. That's the fracture zone. We have this stope up here. Back in there, can you get that Randy? You can see the staining there looks like a good pocket. And here's the vein here. And there is the working face of the tunnel there. So 
since the uh, adit was kind of blocked by little winds at the very opening, I couldn't get very far. So I just took a sample from the vein right there at the opening, and I was able to get a sample up in the trench. So here I am up in the trench, basically looking back where I took the previous picture. You see on the right there's two veins in the same crack. The one on the right is rusty and more heavily mineralized apparently. And the one to the left is much cleaner. It looks like a fairly clean, lightly gray quartz with some cracks with some mineral staining in it. But let's see what the assays look like. Now that's a surprise, isn't it? Absolutely, I was quite shocked with that. And here's just a view down the trench. There's another pillar down there. They did some some more mining, but uh, I didn't see anything that I could actually get to to uh, sample. So there you have it. We have some interesting results, especially up at the top there. That's uh, some really interesting grade, although I suspect it's going to be awfully difficult to recover that amount per ton. Um, I, I think it's going to be a refractory ore. But anyhow, uh, future videos. So, happy prospecting. Keep it safe out there.